What's going on everybody? Today we're looking at Rhythmic Steps, which is one of the three sequencers released in Ableton's pack called Sequencers, which they released with Ableton 12.1. In the last video, we took a look at Step Arp. So I'll go ahead and link that one at the top of this video if you wanna go ahead and watch that next. Let's go ahead and load up a Rhythmic Steps. And this is meant to be used with a drum rack. So you're gonna see that each of these corresponds to a note on the drum. And if you wanna change which one it's pointing at, you can simply click it there. So I've decided to go with an open hat, a snare, another snare, and a hi-hat. So by default, this thing's gonna be repeating after a bar. Now you can change this to two bars. You have to go into your timing and go ahead and click clock speed. You can go to 50%. Now, if you want something to repeat every bar instead of every two bars, we just change this 16 down here to eight. And now you'll see that this one's gonna repeat every eight while these go every two or 16. Each one has a delay. You can mute it and you can lock the length in. And these give you some randomization options. This one's gonna do less randomization. So it's gonna give us, you know, a couple. This one's gonna give us quite a few more. And if you wanna reset, you can just click this X right there. So you got a lot of controls to mess around with this thing. So that's the individual controls on the lanes. And you can see that we have a couple tabs here, which is where everything happens. So we have our chance, which is the chance of this thing happening. So this, I believe, would just be where you would actually put your notes. But if you just want it to for sure hit, you're gonna put it up to 100% chance. Now you also have your alternative pads. And as you can see, you can choose different pads here. So you can choose a chance that these ones get played as well. And that makes more sense why they would give you a percentage on these instead of just a value. You also have your velocities. So that allows you to get some variation without having to go into the MIDI. We have our slide modulation, which allows you to edit the slide modulation at each step. This one's dope. We have some rolls and don't worry, we're gonna get in here and start making something crazy, but we can go ahead and pick different rolls. It would be cool if we could pick different ones per lane. This controls the entire thing, but nonetheless, it's a really cool touch. And you can see we have dotted, regular, and triplets. And then we have our timing here, and this is gonna allow us to do different timings on each pad. If you go ahead and turn this all the way up, it lets us control each lane, all eight of them. You have some randomization here. You have a global amount. And you can go ahead and specify like how much it can vary by. But let's jump in and start making something from scratch. The sounds we're going to be using today are from Detroit Sound of the Era drum kit. This snare is from the Lost Treasure drum kit. And this hi-hat is from Blizzard Storm drum kit. And this would be a good time to let you know that we just updated our biggest pack, which has all of our drum kits, because we just added the Detroit one in here as well. So that is five drum kits. This also comes with 10 bonuses, such as tutorials on mixing, mastering, and getting your 808s to punch through the mix. And we'll leave a link to this, but you can see all the different drum kits right here. And this crazy crunchy 808 pack that we threw in here as well is nuts. We're going to be using this today. If you right click, you can actually set if you want them to be shorter. And if you just drag it down, you can do it that way as well. I'm trying to figure out what this slide is doing because there isn't much of a write up from Ableton. Let's get a roll in here. I'm excited about this one. I want to do a triplet. Let's also take a look at timing. If you have the link turned up all the way, it's going to enable each of these and you'll see each one play as we go through here. But listen, as I tweak each one of these, you're going to notice the timing of each note is going to change. You don't even have to make a MIDI note or anything, but what you could do is you could put things on other notes here. So let's just throw a couple things in here. And now if we go ahead and make the MIDI, it's not gonna interrupt or anything, but we can add on top of what we already have. I threw one more snare in here. I put this one on an audio track just cause, let's hear it. And this snare is from the Blizzard Storm as well. So I took the melody from the last video using the Step Arp, and I did a little processing to it. So first off, I went ahead and pitched this down 11. So this is what it sounded like before.
We did some saturation, a little bit of EQing, mostly just taking out some lows. We used a little bit of Golfos to squeeze some more out of it. OTT in here. Another Golfos. We're just doing small amounts each time. One more EQ just to clean it up. So I took this melody here and put a halftime on it. And as you can hear, that introduced a ton of lag. So I ended up freezing, flattening it. And I just ended up repeating that first bar. Now, if we combine that with our drum rack. And for the purposes of this video, I threw in a simple kick and 808 pattern. So I'll show you that really quick. The 808 pattern is super simple. We're just staying on C sharp. And this Destructo 808 right here is from the Crunchy 808s pack. And this is exclusive to just the production suite. I wanted to throw something extra in there to make it even sweeter. <laughs> For the kick, we're using the thick kick, and this is from the Lost Treasure drum kit. I've been doing my kicks on these audio lanes a lot lately because that allows me to kind of shape them if I want to make them a little shorter or wider. And sometimes if I double up the sounds like right here, I want it to be a little bit shorter. See that? Listen, rhythmic steps and step arp are hard, but SQ Sequencer, now that one hits different. Check it out right here. 